previously on the pot culture. <laughs> we are survey team three from the Namandan Union on a quest to free a princess of the Sivalai kingdom who was kidnapped and is now in Twilight's End. 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 Yes. And the reason we are going to free her is because our superior told us to do so. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, that's what it is. Anyway, we are traveling undercover as guards for a caravan run by an arms dealer named Yafir Tama. We have traveled across sea, across land, into a beautiful little village called Dawn's Edge, where uh, two of our members were kidnapped by the local Big Bad. And with the help of the local people, we also got our friends back and defeated him in a giant airship that somehow flies because of a phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we met some very interesting local characters and freed our friends. And then uh, our here over here learned that her sword is actually not a sword but a person inside a sword. <laughs> yes. It has a recurring nightmares lah, of this person called Koshi. Thanks to our bud, we learned that Koshi could be a mage that lived many, many, many thousands of years ago uh, and has a thing against the undead. <laughs> that much we know. Uh, he had also killed the local Big Bad because she didn't know that he was not dead yet. So in helping him to relieve his body of his head... Uh, so because Chang Chang wanted it. Yes, She wanted true. to tap out his head. This was the captain of the flaming airship that I mentioned earlier. Uh, she killed him absorbed his soul into the sword and uh, after that Bara decided to take the corpse to feed the newly born Bob the Griffin and herself and herself because the auntie in her head <laughs> by the name of Agatha told her that you can gain power by doing so or rather she asked can I or rather he asked can I gain power by eating him and Agatha said Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is very accurate. <laughs> exactly. So this was uh, what happened. Uh, after that, our dear Bob gained some very unusual abilities. At two days old, he was able to speak common and uh, blast a hole in the roof with uh, this black magic. Well, black arcane energy. Black energy. I don't know like, what kind. Anyway, the black energy <laughs> busting through the roof attracted our new friend, Bun. The tiefling, uh, who is a paladin bard, <laughs> pala bard, paladin, <laughs> paladin, power, power ballad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> who has travelled all the way from the Na Namandan Union in search of Kay because her parents asked him to send a letter to them, and uh, it was time that he paid them back lah for all the free food and lodging that they did. <laughs> and drugs. so he, oh yeah, and drugs. So he travelled all the way from their monastery to give her a letter. It turns out that uh, all the way in the Namandan Union, a strange man had gone to the monastery in search of Kie. And uh, we don't know for what reason, except that he says that Kie is now Koshi's heir. And then her parents had some very strange dreams as well. So yeah, I guess it was sort of a warning, I suppose. Anyway, we left, twi uh, we left Dawn's Edge and moved on with the caravan. Uh, because, together now, with Ban, because Yafir Tama now is a bit scared that uh, he has a target on his back as well. Because during the raid on, uh, what's his face? Riyaka's lair, we found out that the, not, the bad, big bear <laughs> in the local place was actually coordinating with another group called the Blood Company. And they want to stop us on our mission. And they had named Yafir Tama as one of the people to kill as well, not just us. So now, Ban is coming along as an additional guard because they have actually worked together before. Mm. Unfortunately, he was probably not expecting what had went down that very first night uh, <laughs> outside of town. Uh. <sighs> it was <laughs> the longest watch ever. <laughs> One times watch span two sessions, okay? <laughs> Take forever! Anyway, what happened was this. Our dear Bara had sent a sending to our friend Afina from the ship that we travelled on a long time ago and found out that Afina wasn't actually as happy as her crewmates had painted her out to be. Something about the King of Corals tipped, her, tipped him off and she feels that something is not right. From our previous conversations, we learned that Kaman, in his uh, forgotten memories, has 
some memories of this man, the king of corals. And so, like the logical leap that it is, <laughs> Bara decided that Kaman should take some drugs <laughs> in order to jog his memory and see what he can remember. Sorry, I think you may need to repeat that for the people at home because <laughs> I didn't follow. Say it again. Okay. So, because oh, no. Bara knew that Kaman has some memories of the king of corals, Bara asked Kaman to take some drugs <laughs> to jog his memory of the king of corals. He, he also conveniently remembered that our new friend, Ban the Baladin, <laughs> has drugs in his socks. Because, of course, that is the most sensible way of transporting drugs. <laughs> we approached, or rather they approached our new friend and said, Hello, Ban, can we have some of your sock drugs? And Ban, being the easygoing person that he is, said, Okay, sir. And then after that, they asked, How do we take this? And it was referred to our resident, the monastery person, who probably have, has more experience with said drugs, who then explained that you need to break it in half, and take one orally, and take one anally. <laughs> and they will meet in the middle, and explode your mind. <laughs> Which was exactly what Kaman did. Lah. Uh, except moments after that, he also ran out stuck naked from the bush he was in, and disappeared into the night. <laughs> To the moon! To the, literally to the moon. So, Kie and Yesa had to go and find him. Couldn't find him. Found his trace leading to a tree. But he was not in the tree. Don't know where he is. Back in camp, Ban and Bara had a butt off. Because, you know, there can only be one butt in this camp, apparently. We actually think it's okay lah. More is, more is good, you know. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, there was a bar off. Very epic, very exciting. Much fireworks. Much <laughs> and then after that, Ban decided, okay, let's help you to find your friend. Since I can fly, look, I'm like a bird, but I can fly away. <laughs> so he flew into the sky to search, to see if there's an aerial view of the place. Maybe easier to find our naked friend. Huh? And then we noticed that uh, there was a speck falling from the moon. It was Kaman. <laughs> Thankfully, we were able to get him in time before he went splat. And that's why children, don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> They'll teleport you to a different celestial body and then you go splat. Huh? Not good. Anyway, so uh, in this uh, very exciting journey that he went on, uh, our dear friend remembered absolutely nothing except for one very important thing. The boldest shade is the king of corals. What does this mean? We also don't know. <laughs> yeah, except that a bolda is actually the name of a god that was apparently around on Earth too many, many, many years ago. But he has apparently left the place, but not entirely. So you know, it's like, a, it's like a, when you eat the cookie, and then got the crumbs, ah, got the crumbs still around. Then what happened? Got ants. <laughs> anyway, that's a different story. <laughs> During the second watch, yes, that all happened in the first watch. During the second watch, a very angry noble lord came out of the forest and blamed us for killing his quarry. Because, uh, yeah, there were two Tyrannosaurus Rex who attacked the camp, right? We had to defend ourselves. Uh, so, yeah, he got very angry about us killing his quarry. Thankfully, with the help of Bara and Ban, we were able to A, uh, <laughs> stun him <laughs> into seeing this fish and the knot getting together, and B, roofy him with the help of the sock drugs. <laughs> so oh, hopefully shoot. he remembers absolutely nothing of what happened. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, you make it sound so bad. <laughs> Next. It's true. But watch. Ban and Le Banan. <laughs> Oh, oh no. no! We're trying to watch the camp. Somehow it led to uh, Le thinking that he's actually Ban's missing dog. <laughs> you know, just the brain in the body of the man. We're not sure how on earth this works, but uh, he's very convinced of this fact. And we left it as that. <laughs> anyway, next morning, thank God the sun has finally come up and we are moving on. Yes. We moved on, and we went to this town called Da Transo, which seems kind of a rundown, huh? and the people are not exactly uh, very friendly. Lah, huh? 
we met one guy who was very, uh, what's the word, hungover. And that is where we left off. Thank you, Yusuf. Wow.